If and when NFL owners approve the purchase of the Carolina Panthers during their meeting next week, David Tepper will be one step closer to officially becoming part of an exclusive group of people. Panthers owner Jerry Richardson has agreed to sell the franchise to Tepper for $2.275 billion, a record amount for an NFL team. $2.2 billion of that money reportedly will come in cash up front, but Tepper reportedly was not the highest bidder in the sale. The New York Times reported that financial group owner Ben Navarro offered $2.6 billion. The Times also reported Fanatics founder Michael Rubin dropped out of the bidding after he was told he would need to pay more than $2.5 billion. Beyond the cash, part of the appeal in Tepper as a buyer was the fact that he owns a 5% stake in the Pittsburgh Steelers, meaning the NFL's betting of a new owner would be less involved. Tepper will need to sell that stake in the Steelers before his purchase of the Panthers can become official in July. Tepper is the lone investor in the sale, but if he wants, he will be able to bring in minority partners. They would need to be league approved too. Below are some facts about the newest member of the NFL's group of team owners. David Tepper, Getty Images, David Allen Tepper, 60, is the founder and president of global hedge fund Appaloosa Management, LP. and a well-known philanthropist. He founded Appaloosa in 1993. Tepper's net worth, according to Forbes, is $11 billion. He has been a billionaire since 2003. Tepper grew up in Stanton Heights, Pittsburgh in a middle-class Jewish family. His father Harry was an accountant, and his mother Roberta was an elementary school teacher. He has three children, Brian, Randy and Casey. He and his wife, Marlene, divorced in 2014. Tepper as a child played football. He memorized stats on baseball cards given to him by his grandfather. He claims to have a photographic memory. Tepper graduated from Pittsburgh's Peabody High School in 1975. Tepper received a bachelor's degree in arts and science from the University of Pittsburgh in 1978, then a master's degree in business administration from Carnegie Mellon University's Business School, which is now called the David A. Tepper School of Business. He earned his MBA in 1982. Tepper did Elvis impressions while in college. One trade in 2009 netted Tepper a personal payday of nearly $4 billion. He told New York Magazine in recalling the sudden wealth, I could buy an island. I could buy a private jet, but I have net jets. I could get myself a 22-year-old. Sometimes, if someone is an asshole, like a waiter at a restaurant, I think, I could just buy this place and fire that guy. Tepper has been a minority owner, 5% share, of his hometown Pittsburgh Steelers since 2009. Tepper owns a pair of brass testicles, which can be found on his desk at his Appaloosa office. New York Magazine describes them as cartoonishly huge and grotesquely veiny, affixed to a plaque inscribed with the words, the most valuable set of all time, they were a gift from a former employee. In 2010, Tepper bought a vacation home, a $50 million, 6,200-square-foot oceanfront property in the Hamptons belonging to Joanne Corzine. Tepper has purchased a $50 million mansion that was owned by the ex-wife of a man who had denied Tepper of a partnership years prior. His plans for the property likely will include tearing down the mansion. He said of the purchase, you could say there was a little justice in the world. Tepper claims to have popularized the phrase, it is what it is, during a gala reception after Tepper made a hefty donation to Carnegie Mellon in 2003. One of his college friends played a video tribute that included a segment called, Cindy Pearl, Thanks for Nothing, based on Tepper's high school girlfriend. Said Tepper's friend to New York Magazine, everybody in your life, there's one person you want to rub their nose in it.
After a five-year relationship, she said to him, David, I love you, but I don't think you're going to be able to support the lifestyle I want. The Teppers hired Ashley Simpson to sing at their daughter's bat mitzvah. On Tepper's 50th birthday, he danced on stage at the Mandarin Oriental with Ellen DeGeneres and sang with Sheryl Crow. Said Steve Miller, the former CEO of Delphi, which in 2009 filed a lawsuit against Appaloosa, to New York Magazine, Tepper has a touch of arrogance, but he's really entitled to it. He's the kind of guy who moves ahead while you are trying to figure out what to do with your pawn. His ability to do math, really complicated balance sheet, math in his head, was awesome. But he's impatient with us lesser mortals, said a former colleague of Tepper. He's an asshole, to say the least. I had stuff thrown at me. He can be a nice guy off the desk, in the kitchen or walking to the car. It's almost like Jekyll and Hyde, you didn't know any given day who was going to walk through the door. After Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey in 2012, Tepper donated $230,000 in $100 value gift cards to residents affected by the storm. The giveaway was organized by Better Education Institute and Better Education for Kids, both of which were founded by Tepper. Tepper has been critical of President Donald Trump. Just before the 2016 election, he told CNBC that Trump masquerades as an angel of light, but he is the father of lies. He previously had told the New York Post that Trump may be demented, narcissistic and a scumbag. Tepper supported Barack Obama in the 2008 election and then Mitt Romney in 2012. He voted for Hillary Clinton for president in 2016 but supported Republicans in congressional races that year. Tepper has committed more than $125 million in donations to Carnegie Mellon. He serves on the university's board of trustees. In 2016, Tepper and Appaloosa moved from New Jersey to Miami Beach. He was the richest person in New Jersey before he left. He became the second richest person in Florida upon his arrival. Vanderbilt University sports economist John Vrooman expects Tepper as Panthers owner to be more fan-friendly and accessible to media than Richardson was.